Now, of all the composers in this century that have written for the guitar, uh, none have really made the guitar sound more resonant and, in a sense, more beautiful than, than Villa Lobos. He was, of course, a guitarist himself, and he knew the intimacies of the fingerboard and the actual right-hand technique uh, uh, quite wonderfully well. And so for this program, we're going to study three of his very popular preludes. Right, Darko, shall we start with uh, number one? That was an effective performance. It had uh, colour and, and, and intensity. But I think you must take very much more care of the sound production uh, and great care of the, of the accompaniment. One tends to think of a, a romantic piece like this as having all melody and just a, a little chum 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 accompaniment. But the, the little accompaniment, which is very simple harmonically, actually holds the piece together and it makes the piece throb this little now i think that it, the actual rhythm of the accompaniment is very important and it must be meticulously played also um the feeling of shape is very important in these very big large and expansive melodies and in a sense the opening or well, the first section is in three broad sweeps. The first one, the second one which is longer, and the third one which is really longer still. And we must get the feeling of the sweep rising and then declining. We didn't quite get that in your performance. I, should, I also feel that even when it's loud, you mustn't sort of break the guitar. <laughs> it was just a bit overplayed. <laughs>
here the, the accompaniment is very important, it must pulsate. And in, in fact, it holds the whole uh, music together. I mean, the tune itself could be played straight, but it doesn't have the intensity without the... And very much together, not too articulated. Also, uh, when you have the chords with the tune, to, like, we didn't hear the bass very strong, it should be, you we heard this, right, they should be, the melody should be prominent, and plenty of time, now look, uh, that should be very delicate, performance was that somehow the middle section did not relate to the first section at all. It, the beginning of the second section, although the character of the music changes, it must grow out of the first music, you see. thing about an arpeggio is that it's not prompt, but it has an inner rhythm. It relates to the music before. It's not like... Yeah. Um, we're going around. We all want to hear it. 